before we start, because I always forget to shill for myself, uh, just go ahead and like go to Steam and wishlist my game because you want it. Rally 9000, that's what we're going to be looking at today and how to do these settings. Alright, bye. Okay, and hello, uh, I'm going to go over HDRP settings. It's something that's extremely annoying and extremely hard to find online. I will post all these scripts uh, probably in like some sort of paste bin. Uh, I don't have a GitHub because I'm a noob. I will probably also put them as some sort of download. Easy enough, you just make them. Last time we went over it, it was basically just these custom frame settings overrides. I don't know if I mentioned last time, make sure they're attached to your main camera. And then, yeah, here's the code. And we can change the bias mode and then the bias that. Now coming over here, these are just the main camera settings. Um, basically the same thing as the overrides, but with no override modes, right? So over here, uh, you still have the HD camera data you could probably combine this into the custom frame settings obviously and the camera and so we'll get both the camera and the HD camera data and then um, let's see for the regular camera we can get the clipping planes so just come over here and look at this stuff and uh, the settings are all right here so there's the clipping planes and we're just setting the far cl clipping plane changing that which is the basically the render distance of the camera all right moving onward um, we got our anti-aliasing and our HD settings and you can see that right here basically how I found all these was just looking at these settings over here uh, toggling them on and off and doing a crap ton of googling um, right here we also have DSL on and off it looks like um, so yeah I think I'm just forcing it off yeah forcing the mode off here so that's how you do DLSS uh, just enable those two things and then disable them because um, you need dynamic resolution obviously for DLSS because that's what it is and uh, you can only use AA with it off so yeah there we go those are nested on to the next one um, this is post-processing overrides so type in volume and if you don't know you can type in like game object and it will bring up every single game object instead of things named game object or whatever thing you want so the component of was it volume sorry i'm still under the weather um so we find our post-processing volume um i have two here so it's attached to the one with uh all of the fog and shadows and stuff um but you're gonna throw in your uh, you know, the scene or whatever volume profile you're using. Uh, I use one for each scene. It's probably not the best way to go, but um, moving onwards. So here I just have the shadow distance. Uh, you should be able to get fog and other things for it. But uh, here's the syntax to uh, set the distance. And uh, I just have it set here at the start. And then uh, it's calling the variable to set the, uh, the distance on awake. So we'll do the... Uh, distance that or we'll set the distance and then it will call the distance. all right moving onward um so some other things like texture size uh you can go ahead and change that um frustratingly i think you can do like lod bias and like change the lod bias from here but it actually does nothing um so yeah you can sit there and try that all day long but that won't work um so yeah just try out different quality settings things to see what does and doesn't work i'm pretty sure texture size and like one other thing is the only thing that works let's quality settings um and da, 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 i think you can also use it for vsync oh god there's a lot and maybe some other things um yeah i think mainly just vsync and and texture size the other things don't work even though they're there frustratingly and then last but not least, uh, we got our our uh, HD lights, so HD light data, HD additional light data, and then of course getting it, and then uh, we can change the shadow resolution again here. I think in quality settings you can shadow res, yeah, you can change the shadow resolution, <laughs> but it like won't work. It won't. It's so frustrating. So. I had to look up uh, how to do it manually from the light. So you just get the light and then, uh, yeah. So everything takes a little bit longer in HDRP, but, you know, that's to get those uh, Unreal Engine looking like uh, graphics, I guess. You gotta work a little bit harder. It just takes a little bit of elbow grease. It's not optimal. It's very unoptimal. It's very annoying that they don't 
deprecate and remove old quality settings or just somehow link the code back to doing what I'm doing here globally, basically, but that's me. Maybe they'll fix it, maybe they won't. It seems like they won't, but there's your settings. This seems to be working on uh, version 12. Point, what am I on? 12.1, I think, when, uh, we'll check. Uh, version 12.1.6, so I think the newest is 12.1.7, so this should be working for just about everybody. What's going on here? Okay. Um, but, yeah, so that's that, and y'all have a good day. Bye. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any more future videos.